Hello, welcome to Appliance Master uh, Live. Today, um, thanks for joining us. Uh, I'm Bill, and as usual on my left, hopefully next week for President's Day in person right over here, we'll see. Kari, the one and only. Yeah. Hello, and uh, today we're gonna be talking about some leaks that may be occurring in your household appliances, you know, as far as the dishwasher, washing machine, and refrigerator. Yeah, and I think the difference um, difference is critical is because you know everyone knows that if you had a catastrophic a catastrophic failure to an, a, an appliance or plumbing like you notice that right away water's gushing out mm -hmm. and there's no doubt you have a problem like that's not what we're talking about what we're talking about are the uh, the slow leaks the occasional leaks that are behind things under things that you don't notice until um, when, when you notice these things that they've gone beyond the appliance, it's already caused like extensive damage. Uh, dam yeah. Damage to your uh, drywall, even like studs, uh, subflooring, uh, insulation in the walls. It can be quite extensive, quite expensive. And this stuff, you know, not only, you know, creates unhealthy situations with mold or mildew, but it's like, it's super expensive. And best of all, it's super easy to avoid. Yeah, so what would be a num so as far as leaking appliances, Mm -hmm. Let's start with the kitchen. As far as the dishwasher, what would be something that you would keep an eye out for? See, dishwashers are, the, leak. dishwashers are the worst because the vast majority of leaks you can't see. Like everybody's mm -hmm. seen occasional leak out the front door or maybe even under the sink once in a while, but um, all the hoses and connections and parts, pumps and things under the dishwasher mm -hmm. can have minor leaks and you won't know about it. In fact, we have, I have a picture here of a customer's dishwasher that this is already a, what do you say? This isn't a cry for help. This is major damage already. So I don't know if you can see the, that's the bottom right corner of a dishwasher. And if you get really close, you can see the cabinet is already kind of spongy and, and uh, expanded. And um, let me put this stuff down. See right here, like this, this is a press board here. It's like, okay there, but it starts to get, you know, it's darker, it's falling apart mm -hmm. here. And you also notice white under the floor here. That's like water residue, some, uh, uh, that is a Our problem. water marks. <laughs> yeah. This, that already has damage in the cabinets, in the subfloor, uh, no telling. When you put, could be rodents under there, could be bugs, could be all kinds of nastiness. But you, you don't want to see the problem when it's snuck out into your kitchen. You want to, once a year, like here, there's, again, there's one screw here, there's one screw on the other side, there might be two other ones hidden on your typical dishwasher. It's like once a year you have to take that off, mm -hmm. look underneath, you know what, I look underneath and uh, just spot those small leaks because that, I mean, this could turn into thousands of dollars worth of repairs. and. Uh, you know, could be from a faulty installation, could be, you know what? We also have little friends that like to live under dishwashers. They chew mm -hmm. on things. Yeah, it's like, that's, that's why- uh, Well, I that one of the things we always recommend is to use these stainless steel hoses as opposed to the rubber or plastic ones. Yeah, but you know, um, on all your appliances, on all your appliances, the fill line should look like this, like it's a mesh stainless steel. And uh, mm -hmm. you know, they're not, they're 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 not perfect. They do have problems sometimes, but they're a heck of a lot better than your plastic, yeah, rubber, you know. But under a dishwasher, that's just one thing. You have drain hose that's uh, rubber. You have other plastic pieces. You have other pieces that uh, can become loose and or leak. Pumps and you know drain pumps, all manner of things. So even if you have the right that this house, this dishwasher, I believe is less than a year old, or maybe just over a year. You know, I don't know if uh, you have any info on that, but it's uh, this doesn't take 10 years to happen. So uh, if you don't have Appliance Master come, look under your dishwasher, make sure, you know, get somebody to, you know? I, I might be talking, yeah. I'm talking way too much because I like, this is like, it, I had this happen to a friend of mine, like a close friend who comes in here, you guys, she comes in the office every once in a while and like, they had a problem with their dishwasher and had to, you know, redo it. Anyway. But so, so as far as the refrigerator might go, what would be something that would cause a leak in a refrigerator? What I know something that has happened to, you know, myself and family members recently, especially with the holidays, with a lot of leftovers and things, when you 
stuff your freezer with a lot of leftovers and cookies and things like that, you block the vent and maybe prevent the cold air from coming through. Could that cause a leak? If that causes a leak, that'll be noticed, something you notice on the inside. It might be leaking, and the other leaks, the frost drain leaks, you know, that mm -hmm. you'll notice water puddling on the inside of the refrigerator and dripping out of the inside of the refrigerator or dripping outside the door. Again, that's something you might, you'll probably notice right away. It's the only things that uh, you might not notice right away in the refrigerator is a water line hook up to the back. Again, so if you have your condenser cleaned once a year on a, on a, those type of refrigerators, you have to pull them out and then you can check the plumbing. Mm -hmm. line. You can, you know, you can check the plumbing, plumbing fittings, and um, you know while you have your condenser clean, and uh, sh that should be an annual practice. And then, would you say that maybe the temperature changes during the year could affect the water lines in the house? Yeah, no, not usually. Not usually. The um, the only kind of temperature problem with any kind of water is if it's in the summer and you don't have air conditioning, it's really hot and the water line is cold, it might sweat a little bit, but that's mm -hmm. that's uh, not any kind of a leak. But that's not really something that we worry about, but anyway. And then as far as the washing machine goes, would you recommend, you know, just doing the- Excuse me, I dropped my picture. Every six month cleaning with oh, A-Fresh? Yeah, at least. I mean, some manufacturers recommend every month, depending on how many loads you run. But, um, you know, washing machines are typically, you can typically see underneath the washer, behind it, the sides. Mm -hmm. If so, if it has a significant leak, you can usually see that. That's not like with a dishwasher. Although, I know with people's appliances in general, they work most of the time, they don't give you problems, so you usually, you know, you ignore them, you ignore them. Um, I was on a service call recently, and like this mm -hmm. is, uh, this is a problem. You see, uh, you see those, uh, those are the hot and cold uh, shutoffs for the washing. And I don't know if you can notice, but look at the copper, the green and the white, it's, uh, and the rust. And, and of course, these, these are uh, black hoses. Um, over time, they get really um, brittle and they're not flexible or supple anymore. And, you know, when these let loose, these, these will be catastrophic. These will burst and then you'll just have a hose flopping around your laundry room, you know, until you shut the main water off, you know, so you can shut that valve or, you know, and that, that who knows, that could be hours or days and that, that'll cause a problem. And so right there, that, sh that sh should have, uh, get your immediate attention to be dealt with. Well, yeah, now that you mentioned it, um, having the water shut off is probably a big thing for people to yeah. know where it's located, especially if you're gonna be going out of town for yeah. just a couple days or a vacation. Well, yeah, all, oh. pretty much all building codes now require a shutoff at the appliance. Like for a dishwasher, it'll probably be under your sink. For a washing mm -hmm. machine, it's behind it like that. For refrigerators even, there should be, a, there, if you have an ice maker or water to the refrigerator, there'll be, there may be a shutoff behind it, which can be inconvenient. And then there, or there's gonna be a shutoff like in the basement or somewhere where you can get to it. You really should know where all those are because, I mean, it's only a matter of time like you know, if you're going away for a vacation for extended time you might want to shut all those off mm -hmm. so i think that we pretty much covered all the bases of the basic leaks that you know homeowners might encounter yeah and if you're and if you're a lot of our customers have us come out clean their condenser coils on refrigerators dryer vent cleaning again we can do that mm -hmm. once a year one visit take care of the refrigerator take care of your uh, dry, uh, clothes dryer and the venting you know we'll even like inspect the dishwasher and anything else all one mm -hmm. service call you can just like get it done at one time and uh, we have yeah, and we'll, yeah our technicians will make sure that all the hoses are meshed in stainless steel up to code yeah they'll even show you where the shutoffs are like they can show you know if you have a question that you don't know where they are they can help you find those you can it's not a bad idea to even label them hang a tag off of them so dishwasher mm -hmm. shut off you know because uh you may not be home and like your children are home or somebody else and it'll help whoever's mm -hmm. there. Well, if anyone has any questions as far as, you know, leaky appliances, certainly leave a comment on this video. You can reach out to us on our website, appliancemaster.com or just give us a call at 800-752-7123. We'll be more than happy to help you. Great. And uh, hopefully we'll see you next week for President's Day, I think, mm -hmm. right? Anyway, thanks for tuning yeah. in.